So this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be changing the brakes on this car and I'm just gonna change the two front. This is one of my customers from, um, he bought this from me, but um, they're charging them a good amount of money just to replace his, um, his brakes. And today I'm gonna be doing that for him. Since he's a good friend of ours, uh, it's raining as you guys can tell it's raining like hell it's windy as hell if you guys can tell if you guys can notice by the tree but anyways that's what i'm gonna be doing today i actually changed to my work clothes which is old vans old uh chinos so yeah i'm gonna put you guys down real quick and i'm gonna start jacking it up by the way my brother actually has my jack so i end up going to the pawn shop and i end up purchasing it uh one stupid um jack so hopefully that goes uh, that can go hopefully i can put that under this car and hopefully i can be able to use that jack under this car since it's a little bit low um but yeah pretty much if, if you guys notice the quality on this video actually i got myself a brand new camera for blogging and for photos so if you guys are in the area of watsonville or the A31 area, hit me up if, if you guys want to go for a photo shoot. Anyways, you guys can contact me on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, let's get it started. All right, so I started removing the lug nuts. I forgot to uh, to record, but the load jack right there is too high for the car. I had to put it on this uh, wood. I just found everywhere. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I started removing the, the lug nuts already. There's one out, as you guys can tell. So I haven't really had, like, all my tools I left at work. I had to go pick up some stuff. And some stuff I went to buy, like, as you guys see. This, I bought the, exten the extensions. I got these as well in order to remove the rotors. And I also bought the, um, the adapters so I can put it on the breaker bar pretty much and that's pretty much it and I also went to buy that jack right there um, unfortunately it was too high for this car so I had to do that but anyways it's because the car is already low as it is so yeah my brother took my jack as well so no biggie I already got a handle I'm gonna start removing this tire and I'll pick up the camera as soon as I do so all right so I removed the tire I already put it right there just as safety the rotor is gone brake pads are gone I have to remove this first okay so I need a 18 in order to remove this right here and I believe I need a 12 for this one right here in order to remove just the pistons but apparently it looks like I have to go get an 18 and a 12 so I have to go spend more money in this fucking project. I'll go and get them after I go pick up my kid. All right, so I came back from picking up my son. Stopped to get these two. I got an 18 millimeter and a 12 millimeter in order to remove this bolt right here and this one right here. But I think I'm gonna just remove this one in order to just uh, compress the compress the pistons. And that's pretty much it. Um, and this side is going to be ready. Hopefully I can get it happen within like an hour, 30 minutes or so. It's not that difficult. All right, so I got this one out. Uh, there is pretty tight, the motherfucker. I, said, I always suggest everybody to use like a zip tied and tied it up from the upper control arm. But in this situation, I didn't have zip ties. I have all my tools at work. Um, but yeah, it was a bitch, but look at this. <laughs> fucking. It's a good amount of fucking rotor gone. Pretty much they were fucking breaking on. I almost on the caliper on this one. <laughs> so yeah, it's always good to you check the inner pad. Just because the, um, sometimes the front ones, they look good. But the, the back ones, or the ones inside, sometimes they're the first one to worn out faster than the ones from the outside so yeah pretty much a lot of metal shaving here it's pretty it's pretty bad my hands are dusty but yeah good thing um, they brought it to me and I'm gonna take care of them today but um, the 
yeah, this this job they were charging them seven hundred dollars just because it's a five series or just because of the name of the car pretty much that's why they charge it but it shouldn't be that much I'm sure you guys already know this but um, every time you do brakes make sure you use brake cleaner I don't have a rag with me right now um, so I'm just gonna spray it and throw it like that I always suggest you guys or everybody you or you guys already know but um, like I said always use brake cleaner when you're changing the brakes because it helps you uh, clean all the oil or debris on the rotors pretty much there flip it over all right so I finished uh, installing it I'm not going to record every process because not everybody has a 5 series but yeah this is what it looks like uh, brand new rotors new pads so that's their brake pad it was pretty much gone it was all bare metal already it was eating up the rotor let me put down the camera put the tires back lower this side and start doing the other side all right so put everything back together both ends are done i'm pretty tired so on this side i have to remove the tire one more time and if you guys can tell that little bracket right there fucking neighbor well this bracket right here i'm pointing at i didn't install it right so i have to remove the tire and and install it properly so yeah this is what i'm gonna do but pretty much i'm done with the f10 i believe but yeah if you guys have any questions about how to change your own brakes let me know in the comments down below so we just made it to the spot it's fucking cracking right now let's see how fucking let's see how it gets it's getting cracking right now it's fucking cracking it's happening this is that there's more people over here how to, how to park my car on the other side of the uh, parking spot because uh, sometimes it gets hot here. <laughs> Oh, my God. 